Scotty, sit, sit. Scotty, lay down, lay down, lay down. Do you want to do? Make oatmeal. Make oatmeal? How about eggs? Yeah. Okay, the let's go. Scrambled one. Scrambled eggs? What are you going to put in the scrambled eggs? Pepper and salt. Pepper and salt, and would you like to put some cheese? No. No? Milk? Yeah. Butter? Yeah. Okay, let's go. You know, mommy's here. <laughs> so cute. Yes. Yes. Hi. Let me Hi. Hi. Yep. Okay. Good job. Now my open. Then. Can I eat salt? Can the I salt. I the salt. I do not have salt that I can do this to. Because the salt is already ground and now grind now salt, so I have to open it. There. And get some salt. I have to buy for the salt that you have to grind so it will come out. You are a salt eater. You love eating salt, huh? The sleep gown is so cool because it's not your typical pajamas where it's pants. It's actually a gown. So it's like a dress here with a zipper. And if you need to change the baby's diaper in the middle of the night, all you need to do is unzip from the bottom and you have full access to the legs and the diaper. And then you just zip it back. It's so easy and convenient. So this is a mama hack that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. I'll put a link down below to where I got this. It's part of my buttery soft collection with Bamberry. Um, and you can be matching with your toddler or mom baby can be matching. It's so cute. Are you ready to cook now? I was waiting for you. What? I feel my kaya. It's yummy, man. It's yummy kaya. It's yummy kaya. Thanks, my little helper. Oh no, why are you crying? Why are you crying? The pink one? The pineapple one? This one, yeah. Okay. A bib. What? That's your bib. That's not a bib. Can you put it on the table? It's a bib. <laughs> put it on the table. Okay, I'll put the egg now. It's a bib. Mm, that's not your bib. Can I borrow it? Hello, no. It's not my bib. Hold on. That's my bib. That's my bib. Okay, that's your bib. <laughs> that's your bib. I'll just put it here na lang. Just that's your bib maka. What is this? Poisson. A poisson. A poisson. Can you say poisson? Poisson. 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 I'm gonna eat now. I eat my food. I waste my food. You wasted your food? Yeah. That's not very nice. Would you like some croissant? I Here, waste, it's with I, butter. I, I waste my, I waste mommy croissant. Here, it's with butter. Would you like some? It's crunchy. I waste
a little bit more fluttering. Oh, arms. So last night, we had some wine with friends, a wine and paella night. But we only had one bottle and there were four people drinking. But he feels it right now already. Because he's an old man. Hug me. This is where Scotty gets it. Ma, hug me. Ma, pick, pick me. Ma, cuddle me. That's where Scotty gets it. From Ma. <laughs> so, it's a no makeup day, but we are in workout clothes because if I wear workout clothes, I feel like it's more motivation for me to actually get in a workout. And so far, so good. I've done yoga two straight days in a row. I know I've only been doing like 20 minute workouts, but still better than nothing. So that is our goal for today, to get a workout in. But I also quickly wanted to show you something that came in the mail and is a bit of a surprise for me. Hold on. So this one was just Lala moved to my house by Milan Lux. Thank you guys so much. I always get excited when I receive packages from Milan Lux because I know it's something really special. Um, so this is from Alessandra and she sent a little note along with it. Congratulations on your new baby boy. I hope you enjoy this Burberry bucket hat. I'm so happy because look how pretty it is. I never actually, I've never owned anything from Burberry before. So this is pretty cool. Let me remove my clip so you see how cute it is. I hope this actually looks cute on me and I'm not like a trying hard mama. Trying hard to fit in, mama. Look at that. That's so cute. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Milan Lux. Now I have a cute new bucket hat. Um, you will see me wearing this a ton because I like to repeat items, especially items of value. So yay, thank you so much. I haven't really, I don't really go luxury shopping anymore. So this is a big deal for me. I'm so happy. Good morning, my love. Good morning, my love. <laughs> yes, hi. It's mommy. Are you looking for mommy? I'm here. Hi. Hi, my little shopal. <laughs> so sleepy, but it's time to eat now. Time to eat now. Oh, hi, Shush. Hi, Shush. Savvy, boo boo. My savvy boo boo. Hi, Yogi, it's Bri, and welcome to this 45 minute daily aligned vinyasa. Bend forward, relax your shoulders, and close your eyes. Oh my god, what a yoga practice. I'm sweating so much. So I just did an Aloe Moves class, which is an online class that I subscribe to. I downloaded their app and I found that all of my favorite teachers are actually teaching on that app. So it is paid, but I feel like it's so super duper solid because it's just like $20 a month. And if you join one class that's face-to-face, -face, that's already probably the price of that. I was practicing yoga a lot, especially before I got married, and I never really gave myself credit for being so strong or being able to hold the poses. I just always felt like I need to, needed to improve or that I wasn't doing my best. But now I'm doing a 45-minute class and I feel like I'm dying. <laughs> and I realized that, hey, I was pretty strong before because I could do all of these things, and these are things that you don't give yourself credit for in the moment. But you know, when you're out of that moment and when you're a little bit weaker, when you're going through something else, that's when you realize, hey, I had it so good all along, you know? They always say that when you're in your 40s or when you're 50s and your 60s and you look back at the photos of yourself when you're younger, in your teens or in your 20s, you don't quite realize how good you had it back then. Like when you're in your teens and in your 20s, like I was, I was always constantly telling myself that, you know, I need to lose more weight. I wasn't super into it, but I remember when I kept having to go to um, the beach for press trips. I'd always say like, uh, my problem area is my stomach. I, I, I always felt like I was so unfit in my stomach area. And then now that I'm pregnant and I have this big gut on my stomach right now, then I'm like, what was I talking about? Looking back, I was so skinny. You know, all of these things, all of these realizations. So this is just a reminder to you if you're watching this to kind of 
give yourself a little bit more credit for what you're able to do today, for who you are today, because most likely um, in the future, you will look back at yourself and realize how great you have it right now. Diba Sky? Sakto ko? Am I right? Am I right? Am I right? Huh? Correct? Correct si mommy? Okay, so I am very fortunate also because my mother-in-law picked up Scotty and is taking him to a grandma and grandpa's day out, which I'm so, so thankful for because I can't do everything. I can't take care of my husband, take care of my family, take care of my household, take care of everyone. And also like take Scotty out all the time, expose him to new things. Like there's just too much. So I'm always, always grateful to the people in my life who are helping me. That's also something that I learned during the pandemic when I wanted to do everything by myself. And I, want, I was like a super martyr for my kids. I realized that's not the healthiest way to do it. And it's also not the most efficient way to do it because obviously you can't do it yourself. You know, your, your resources are limited and your energy is limited. So now I'm so thankful to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law for taking Scotty out. They're gonna have lunch out. And also my mom is coming over. I think she's gonna, she's bored. They haven't left the house also. They're still printing. It's still pandemic in, in the Oi household. <laughs> so uh, they're coming over for a little joyride with a few of my nieces that I haven't seen in quite a while. So I'm really, really excited to see them. I'm just going to go um, shower quickly and <sighs> hopefully we'll look fresher, a little bit fresher for them. Yay, they're here! And a stage grandma! <laughs> Guys, I literally just showered, but these kids are so happy and I really want to join them in the pool. So I'm going to swim again and shower again. <laughs> I'm such a stage aunt because they didn't have any swimwear when they came here and I saw it in their faces that they really wanted to swim. So I'm like, oh, just borrow from me. And then when I saw them in, in all of my swimsuits, I'm like, oh my God, you girls look so good. I haven't seen them in so long. I think I haven't seen them like really playing and hanging out with me and we used to hang out a lot. Um, and I haven't seen, the, seen them like this since the start of the pandemic. So three years now. So I lent them my swimsuits. They fit my nieces so well. I'm like, I was like crying. Like, oh my God, I miss you guys so much. I gave them all of the suits. <sighs> Stage auntie. If this is how it feels like now that I'm an aunt, I wonder how it's going to feel like when I become a mom. I mean, I'm a mom, but when Scotty and Sevi are older and then they're like in college and in high school. See, I'm going to be crying every day. <laughs> Just marveling at how big they are now. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy. 
What you making? What's that? Real burger for daddy. Ooh. Eat real burger for mommy. Hey, mommy. Mommy, what's up? Thank you. Hi. So saba. No, you like it. You like na alikui. Meanwhile, look at the, your other child. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi, love, love. You heard my voice. Mona, bago naman ta eat. Yo. Mix. So you have to shake dance, okay? Like this. Shake, 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 shake. Shake dance. Come on, shake with me. Shake, 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 Okay. Na I love me. or na I love Na I love me. Ay! Alright guys, we're doing a bit of makeup now because we're going to be attending the Mot 32 opening here in Cebu. And we're pretty excited about it because, syempre, pagpagkain, lagi naman kami na excited talaga. <laughs> and Mot 32 is a really famous restaurant. It's known to serve really good food. It's all the way in the New Star Resort, which I haven't been to, but a lot of my friends have been going there and they say the food's really, really good. Um, so it's exciting for me to see it because I saw the photos and the architecture looks really, really nice as well. It's funny because I haven't been out in so long. You guys know that. I mean, I go out, but from time to time, it's never... A big event or like a, a major lakad. It's more like grocery or going out for coffee, super duper quick lang. So when I'm doing my makeup for events, like big events like this, I always second guess my talent in putting on makeup where before I was super duper confident in my own skill for my face. But now I'm always like, how did I used to do this? Like I always remove my makeup. See, I, I completely put on like a full base and then I removed it all out because I was so not confident in my skill, feeling ko ang pangit pangit ng pag apply ko and stuff like that. I don't know why. It's just I'm not used to it anymore. Maybe I have to look back at my old YouTube videos and <laughs> learn again. Learn again from what I know. I know that the trends have also been changing a lot. I think before we used to apply like concealer in a triangle form, and now I see it's always like upwards and upward strokes, which I haven't really figured out yet because I don't really wear a lot of makeup here at home. But it's so interesting to see how makeup trends evolve. And it's so interesting to see how I suddenly lack confidence in myself when I used to be like super beauty, super into these beauty things. But I feel like I'm going to try and practice more because I have a trip with a beauty brand coming up. I know it's so exciting. I'm gonna leave, I think, end of next month. And it's gonna be top 30 content creators in the field of beauty all over Asia. So I'm gonna be one of the girls representing the Philippines. And it's all beauty, so... I don't want to show up there looking like I don't know what I'm talking about. I know it's been a while since I, I've done beauty content, but I still really love it. I still really enjoy it. So I'm going to be practicing now. Okay, for eyeshadow, I've only really been using not even these three palettes. So these are the Tom Ford palettes, and they only have four colors inside. So these are the only palettes that I've been using for the past two years. These are the colors. So I usually just go with this for every day and then use this for my eyeliner and that's just it. Okay, this is it for the eyes. Just a very simple look. It's an oldie but a goodie. I will top it off with this Hermes uh, 17 Satin. To make it a little bit more natural. And sometimes I even like to add this in the middle of my lips. 
This is the Mersey V6. I don't, I don't remember. The first velvet tint. And I'm just gonna apply that a little in the middle. So it's not just like one flat color. It's a little gradient. Okay guys, let's build this outfit together. This is the dress that we tried on together. It's the Zara one that I really liked the fit of. We're looking for shoes to wear. I have no idea what I wanna wear. This is also one of the things, like I forget how to put on makeup because I haven't done it in so long, but I also forget how to dress up. <laughs> I don't know what matches what anymore. So I still have um, the same shoe collection from three years ago. I wanna wear these, but I'm also very honest with myself that I cannot stand walking in these or even staying in the, like keeping them on my feet for more than 30 minutes. So I don't, I've never worn these shoes. Let me try it. I don't know guys, is this the shoe? They are so sexy, but they will kill me. Or do we do, do we do the Akuzuras? Yes. The wedding shoe, na my sumabit dito, <laughs> or should we do these simple bangs? I don't know. What do you think? Okay, guys. So this is what we have decided on. Nothing. Nakapaa. No, this is the hair. I chose these earrings to match my dress. Just a simple, but not so simple, but <laughs> pretty dangling ones. Um, no necklace. Just my watch. My wedding rings, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with my green bag for a pop of color. And for shoes, either we go with the silver aquazuras or we go with the gold Stuart Weitzmans. I guess we will see where this goes. I just feel like this is too wedding guest, like too dressed up, and this one is too basic. But I have a feeling that I'm just gonna go with a basic one because if I wear this, I might be too blingy. I also don't know if I'm just gonna leave my hair down like this, or if I should tie it up, maybe like this. Oh. Yes, love? Let's be down, let's do down. Hey, come here. What shoe should I wear? Let's see if Slater can help us, guys. I feel like if I... Okay, I won't tell you what I feel like. You tell me. The gold ones? Yeah. So here's more basic. Delica. So I feel like if I wear this, I'm too like wedding wedding guest. Right? Like it's too much. Okay. See? And these shoes are the perfect ones. Yes, that one. Yeah, but I can't walk in them. You don't have to walk. <laughs> no, literally, I will die if I stand, if I wear these for more than five minutes. It's okay. People die in high heels. <laughs> I can't even put them on. Wait, love. Look. It's cute, no? They seem ko na lang ba? Yes, they seem ko? That's such a not No. <laughs> but I've been hanging on to you the whole night. Wow, I'm so blue. Now it's time to find Scotty Boo. White balance, fix yourself. It's like a tugs tug situation in here. <laughs> this is so weird. Hi, honey. Come here. You fed the fish? Okay. And then I didn't feed the stingray. You didn't feed the stingray? Yeah. Wow, I love your shirt. It says Charlotte Folk. It's a new shirt, huh? You look so good. I can uh, the mop. You want a mop? Where did you watch TV? I did not watch TV. Oh. Hey, honey, I have a question for you. What do you think of mom's dress? Look. What do you think of mommy's dress? Is Mom. it nice? Yeah. Really? Is mommy pretty? Yeah. <laughs> Daddy is not wearing a black shirt anymore. Daddy. Bam, 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 bam. Tell Daddy where you went, babe. No, oi! Where did you go after Babao? Where did you go? I go to Sabi's house and, and we don't Did and you go to Sabi's house? And I go to Sticky Young Fish. Huh? Sticky Young Fish. Sticky? Sticky Young Fish. 
What did the fish do? Soup soup my head. It was slimy. <laughs> he fish soup soup his hand and it was slimy, Dad. Okay. I'll fit check. Of course, I wear heels, pa. But Yay, we're going out. <laughs>